starting a video with an iced water. She's hydrated. She's not a caffeinated raisin, desperate to quench her thirst, but yet going for another coffee. Water, what is going on? That is how warm it is today. Also, I don't know if you'll be able to tell. This is from one of our ice cube trays, which is like giant ice cubes. And they're really good because you literally just need one and then it's delicious, refreshing iced water. But they constantly remind me, I have like a bitter feeling towards them every time I use one now because at the start of this year, I think it was, I bought a really, really nice cocktail shaker in the January sales. It was so beautiful. It was absolute goals. It was made of glass, which on reflection seems a little risky to say the least, but it was so beautiful. And I thought, oh, this is such a wonderful grown up purchase. This makes me feel like I really have my life together. I have a beautiful cocktail shaker. I specifically said to Adam when we got it, oh, don't use the big ice cubes in there because might not be a great combo. He literally did one shake, he raised it up, he brought it back down and the whole thing shattered across the kitchen and we were literally both just stood there like no <laughs> and he was in big trouble for that as you can probably imagine uh, it's not very often we have tense words but the glass cocktail shaker incident this close i feel like i've got a list of things in my head that i want to say to you early on in this video um the first one is that hello welcome to my new camera this is very exciting. I am on a brand new vlogging camera right now. If you watched, I wanna say it was maybe like three videos back or something, my day didn't get off to the best start because I dropped my Canon G7X Mark II onto our very hard stone quarry tile kitchen floor, RIP. Uh, really, really bad start to the day. Although to be fair, I'd kind of been like vaguely planning on upgrading my camera for a really long time because I only make very simple chatty kind of videos. I never really splurge too much on like fancy tech and stuff. It doesn't really make much difference when I'm just rambling nonsense. It doesn't really matter whether I'm in 4K or not while I'm just telling you silly stories. So I was long due an upgrade anyway. Um, so here we are fresh, new, you're so clean, you're so undusty. Uh, I'm hoping you don't kind of click and clatter like my old one weirdly did. You're looking so beautiful today. Not just my camera, I'm talking to you. For this that you're on right now, that I'm chatting away to, uh, this is the Canon G7X Mark III. I got the very fancy silver one. Let me, let me show you. Here's a little clip on my phone to show you. I got the silver version. Isn't it pretty? I really like it. It's got like a little bit of a, a retro vibe to it. Don't worry, I hate myself too. I buy these things and just don't understand the technical side of it. So all I can say about it is, doesn't it look nice? And the second thing that I want to tell you is that I think it's calmed down just about, um, but I did some exercise before filming this and I can only describe the word as fuchsia as the colour that I turned. I'm just a sweaty mess when I exercise anyway and I turn an alarming shade of pinky red every time. And that's also combined with the fact that it's extremely hot today. Now, hear me out. People in the UK, you'll know, it's really bloody hot right now. If you're not in the UK, every time I say, oh, it's really hot here today, or I mention the temperature on a warm day or whatever, people from other countries like Australia and Middle Earth laugh at and ridicule me because I dare to say that it's really warm when it's like 27 degrees or whatever. I get it. I know you live in the center of the Earth's core. I know that your homes are made of molten lava, but when you're in London and you're not used to these these balmy temperatures, it's really uncomfortable. I think I've just about returned to a normal colour after almost an hour since I stopped exercising. I did record a little clip to send to my friend, so I'm gonna put it here because for the sake of anyone who feels like super self-conscious and in fact, let's, let's have a chat about this. So I am not an exercise person at all. I have never, ever, ever enjoyed any exercise because I am so, well, I have previously always been so self-conscious that even when I was exercising privately, I just, I didn't feel like exercise belonged to me because I didn't look like an active person. My face goes so, so red 
and I get so so sweaty like no part of it is even remotely attractive or appealing because the fitness world is all about kind of aspiration and stuff you only ever really see people who look amazing when they work out so if that is not you and you are a big tomato energy kind of person when you're doing your exercise it can feel really like alienating and I think that's what I've always experienced with it but I've kind of recently made a decision like for myself like from a kind place um, which is an, a new thing for me as well like exercising has never been from a kind place to myself before it's always been from a place of punishment and hatred and it's come from like really loathing my body um, and it's always been appearance based but I've kind of had this like a little bit of a switch flicked in my brain kind of thing you kind of realize I can't just assume that my body is gonna be fine like I do have to invest some time into looking after myself and caring for myself a part of that is making sure that I remain active and flexible and that I can I can I was starting to slowly feel that my body was feeling like it was made of bricks <laughs> so I wanted to make sure that like I could keep moving it well and this whole kind of like joy of movement thing has totally totally changed my thinking about it and a big part of that has been taking away the appearance focused element of exercising and that includes the big sweaty redness um that I never really see anywhere else so hey if that's you if you're part of the big tomato energy um I just want to say that's extremely normal and fine and don't let that get in the way of you doing nice things for your own body I'm going to hydrate and I'll get back to you, someone's at the door. This new camera looks sharp. I'm I'm actually wondering whether this is because it's an impressive increased technology or whether my old camera was just absolutely filthy. So I think it's fair to say that the vlogs recently have been dust, I think the general word would be dusty and grubby and I mean, this but I'm gonna have to put the brakes on the DIY at least for today because it is just too hot I just feel like having a little bit of a girly day with you today not that DIY is not girly that's not what I mean at all I am a girl and I love to do DIY I thought we'd just take it easy today have a bit of a, a girly chit chat kind of vibes let's put the sander down let's take the dust masks off while I'm here let's give you a little garden update and show you how our little herb box is getting on it's uh it's sort of thriving so here we go this is how we're looking we've um I said on Instagram that our basil got absolutely annihilated by the slugs and snails. We've tried the eggshell trick, didn't work, but loads of you recommended copper tape. So that is what we've got all the way along here. Parsley's looking good. We've got a, li a little bit of action going on here. The rocket, would you look at that, absolutely thriving. Got some spinach happening. The Swiss chard is doing well. Rosemary's all right. We've given up on the coriander. We need to try and bring this back to life a little but fingers crossed fingers crossed the copper tape will sort us out and then over by our furniture here i also planted a few little flowers the other day i can't remember if i told you or not but i've got action in four out of five pots my chrysanthemums are doing well got some wild flowers back here marigold sweet pea which i'm really excited about lavender pretty tragic looking but the rest not too shabby i can then move these over to these pots which we've got over here because they are very dead and quite sad looking so it'd be nice if we can get them filled with nice flowers okay i'm gonna set us up in the bathroom to have a little chat about all things beauty it feels fitting and also this is the prettiest room of the house so by gosh darn it i'm gonna make use of it i feel like you've probably seen this bathroom more than you've seen your own bathroom uh but hey i'm gonna milk it for all it's worth i used to talk about makeup and you know my favorite beauty products and all that kind of stuff a lot but definitely through lockdown um i mean i just didn't bother i don't know about you <laughs> i was a potato for the last 18 months and kind of loved it not gonna lie oh hi you come to join me you are the most beautiful one in town so that's only fitting really that you talk all things beauty what's your favorite beauty products Oh, your own spit and your wiry tongue? Perfect, that's all we need around here. Isn't that right? Well, I'm not really sure whether to continue this holding you like a baby or whether I should put you down <laughs> before I 
Talk all things beauty. What do you think? I think I'm going to put you down. Although you look very comfy. So this is going to be a bit of a mixture of classic faves that I highly recommend and have been really enjoying recently and some new bits which I'm really excited about that I have treated myself to in some kind of vague attempt at a summer glow up, post lockdown glow up. And this bit of the vlog has been very kindly sponsored by Look Fantastic, which is so cool. I'm sure you know all about Look Fantastic already, but if you don't, they are my go-to website for ordering all things makeup, hair care, skincare. If I ever need a top up on all my favorite products, I head straight over to Look Fantastic. They have the most insane selection of literally thousands of top brands and products. All my faves are on there. Their delivery is always super speedy and I've shopped with them for years so I'm super excited that I have my very own look fantastic discount code so cool um, so if you guys are wanting to top up on your favorite products if you want to treat yourself to some new bits for the summer I'll make sure to pop the discount code details on the screen right now but it will also be in the description box down below so if you fancy having a little browse and stocking up on your makeup your go-to skincare your hair care products now's a really good time I'm gonna try and show you but I've balanced a cardboard box <laughs> on the toilet just here. Uh, this seems glamorous. Less glamorous when I explain the setup. So when I think about summer and beauty products in the summer and brands that I like to use in the summer, one brand jumps out and literally screams in my face because they are literally summer personified. And if you have not tried this yet, I cannot encourage you enough to treat yourself just to like even the small size of the body moisturizer that they do. This is Sol de Janeiro. You've seen me talk about this 10 million times, but this has got to be top of my list for summer products. And this is probably their most like iconic product. It's their Brazilian Bum Bum Cream, <laughs> which who can say that with a straight face? Not myself. It's basically a body moisturizer. I think this is maybe my fifth tub of this. It's a beautiful moisturizer, but the main thing about this range, the scent that they use is unbelievable. It is, if you haven't tried this, Please, I implore you. Because I love this fragrance so much, I treated myself to a couple of their other little bits which I've never tried before. I also bought the shampoo, which I'm just living for. I used it yesterday and now that fragrance, which is like, it's, a, it's kind of like a tropical Solero combined with sun cream, combined with like vanilla cream and summer itself. If you could put summer in a bottle, <laughs> It's this range. I want to make sure that I leave a trail of this smell wherever I go just to really brighten up people's lives. <laughs> so I also treat myself to the body mist. <coughs> Don't taste it. Brazilian Crush is the one you'll never forget with our addictive pistachio caramel. There you go, pistachio caramel. Forget everything I just said. Next, we're gonna talk fake tan. <laughs> I am by no means proclaiming to be good at fake tan. I, in fact, I have no skill applying it whatsoever. I put some on last weekend when I went up to Liverpool and forgot a knee. So I just had a nice white circle all around my knee. This is Saint Tropez Self Tan Whipped Marshmallow Fragrance. It has this really cute pink packaging. So it's like a little variation on the normal one. You know, the standard, fake tan. People always say biscuits. I think that's an injustice to biscuits. I love the smell of biscuits. The fake tan smell, it honestly just smells like my teenage years. And it's not a nostalgic scent that I enjoy. So um, the fact that this one is scented with marshmallow, it says limited edition scent. Um, I am very excited. And to really perfect my fake tan skills, I'm gonna be teaming that with this slightly strange contraption. <laughs> This is a repurchase. So I've had one of these for a while. It's not looking too cute anymore. Last time I used it, I was like, I really need to replace this. So this is the box for it. Oh, sorry, plant. This is the Bondi Sands Reusable Self Tan Back Applicator. If you're not a fake tanner, you can only imagine the trying to do this bit, the contortions that that requires. It's not a fun time when you're already sticky and working up a sweat and thinking, why the hell am I doing this? It's kind of a genius invention from Bondi Satin. So this is like a velvety pad here, which you can like squirt your fake tan onto. And you can just, la 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 la. If you're gonna fake tan, you gotta exfoliate. You gotta get the dusty stuff off, especially if you've been sanding stairs. So this is a new exfoliator that I picked up. This is all from Look Fantastic, by the way. I told you there was 10 million different brands on there, but I think a lot of you will be interested in how I get on with this actually, because every time I mention the fact that I have like quite bumpy skin up here, like, oh, you can see it 
quite clearly actually. Um, I've had it all of my adult life. It was the thing that I was like so insecure about when I was a teenager. Even though it's not something that really bothers me anymore, I'm still always on the hunt for things that might kind of help improve the texture or, you know, an extra boost of confidence. This is from First Aid Beauty and this is their KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. Uh, so KP is keratosis pilaris, that is what the bumps are. I think it's got glycolic and lactic acid in it. Um, as well as all sorts of other fancy stuff. So we'll see how we get on. In my whole life, I've never particularly found anything that really helps. Today on the little body bits I wanted to show you, over here though, Look Fantastic has an amazing range of like more kind of luxury high-end products as well as your go-to beauty stuff. Um, so I picked up a new neon candle, which I thought would be really nice in here. It's like a quite a fresh, daytimey spa kind of scent. I wanted a nice little candle to sit in this little nook here. And then I also got, this is such a treat. These are the bath and shower oils from Aromatherapy Associates and they are so wonderful to use. They're real, like a proper luxury treat. They're always my go-to present for people for something special. I don't use them very often. I save them for maximum special occasions, but they also look really lovely in the bathroom. So a couple of nice little treats. So this is my little skincare corner here. Um, I've been really liking this brand. So this is a brand called Antipodes. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, first of all, how gorgeous is their packaging? I love it. And this is their Grace Gentle Cream Cleanser and Makeup Remover. I've been using this every day. And this stuff is un unbelievably lovely to use. It smells incredible, the texture is gorgeous, my skin loves it. I have quite dry, dehydrated skin, uh, but my skin feels really, really good after I use this. So this is my fancy little skincare corner, my little antibodies treats. I like how they look on the sink as well. Um, and this is also the kind of like retinol treatment that I'm using at the moment. This is from Medicaid. I've literally given up on like this portion of my face for a while because the masks and the sweat are an unfortunate combination. Plus hormones, I mean, asking for trouble. But the rest of my skin, if we ignore this part, has honestly never looked so good. They are definitely my top recommendations for you right now. A few that I'm very excited to try. I will report back on Instagram and let you know how I get on with them. I'm gonna pop everything you need to know in the description box down below with a link to look fantastic. Happy shopping. I've had some lunch. I've got through quite a long list of work bits that I had to do today. I kind of forgot that I had quite a lot to do. The headband has had to go on, A for concentration, because anyone else? I can't do anything useful when there's hair in my face. <laughs> Literally like remove all the hair from my head when I have something to do. But now that I've got all my work done, I really fancy doing some baking. I find it very relaxing, very therapeutic. But the big question is, do we actually have anything of note or worth in the cupboards. I mean, I can see a lot of sauces, but that's not going to make a very delicious cake. Oh, I haven't got any bloody butter. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna have to go out. Oh, so annoying. I think I've got everything else as well. Got eggs, just about enough eggs, I think. Got flour, flour's here. She's present and correct. We've got sugar, I know we've got sugar. Right, so if I wanna do this, which I do, I really want to do it. Do I want to do it enough to go out? Why do I get these like urges to do things which are so inconvenient? Why can't I get an urge to like hoover the living room? We gotta get some butter. We gotta find the butter. We gotta bring home the butter. Because I really want to make, there's this classic recipe that is like my go-to favourite thing to make. It's from Jane's Patisserie. Have I ever shown it on here before? I've definitely shown it on Instagram, but it's like a school style. If you went to a British primary school, it's like a school cake style vanilla cake with icing on the top and sprinkles. It's really basic. It's really not very exciting. If you're a baker, you'll look at this and be like, something a little more exciting. How about a drizzle? So that's what we're gonna make. Right, let's go out. Do you know what, while I'm out, I was thinking I'd get my nails done today. Maybe we'll do that too. I'm supposed to be going to the pub this evening. I'm not sure that's gonna happen. I'm not sure that's what I feel like my soul needs this evening. We spent all day at the pub yesterday watching the England game. I think maybe I would just like to melt into the sofa. <laughs> like a big ectoplasm mass. That sounds quite appealing right now. Okay, quick interlude, pre-baking. Let's go find some butter. Let's go get some nails done. That's all. Go. I went down to the city with a suitcase in my hand Looking for a better deal and trying to find myself a plan Roaming around the 
streets Filling up some useless time And if I'd seen her then and there I would have asked her to be mine Look who was waiting by the door to greet the guests Little Dudley Dursley here Oh, I've still got my mask on How are ya? Too hot? Same mate, oh my god <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I'm about to Die is the wrong word, expire? I might have already spotted it, but I I feel like I really panicked when I chose my nail colour earlier. <laughs> Do you know what? I actually really like it now. When she first put the first coat on, I was like, oh no. I was like, I am too socially awkward a creature to just say, oh actually I think I picked the wrong colour. Do you mind if I choose another? I just watch wide-eyed like, oh no. But as soon as she'd kind of built the colour up a little bit, I really, really like it. It's given me big, like, any kind of people who were old school back in the blogging days, Essie Mint Candy Apple. It's it's really giving me that. I'm always a pale pink girl, through and through, when I go and get gel nails done. I always pick a nice pale pink. But on the odd occasion that I feel like something different, as soon as I do it, I'm just instantly filled with terror and regret, like, why did I do this? Why did I make such a panic decision? Lilac, what was I thinking? I was talking about ectoplasm earlier, right? Maybe that was on the brain. <laughs> Anyway, I am going to do some baking now. It's just that kind of day. I've decided that um, the pub, the pub is not the place for me this evening. Socialising. I socialised all day yesterday. I feel my levels just go like, and I have to spend the next 24 hours like, while alone to like rebuild myself. Maybe that sounds really crazy. Does anybody know exactly what I mean? Like as soon as I've socialised, I'm like, well, I need to not see anybody else for the next two days. <laughs> Look, I know you all came here to see one thing. Here you go, all right? This will be my legacy on the internet. Do you know what I'm gonna listen to? I'm gonna listen to the new Lord song, which is unbelievable. She is one of my favorite artists. I love her. Green Light is probably one of my, I'd say in my top 10 pop songs. <laughs> Do you want to know the weird thing about this recipe? <laughs> Guess how many eggs this requires? This tray of cake requires not one, not two, not three, not four, count them, five eggs. Yes, a quin... a quintet? A quintet of eggs? I thought I'd have a little like honest chat while I'm doing this. Baking really brings something out of me where I just want to talk about things. <laughs> Maybe if they offered some kind of baking therapy, that'd be a great idea. Just like one-to-one, -one, you're both stood next to each other, baking a Victoria sponge. I bet all sorts would come out. But now that everybody's kind of doing things again and socializing is back all over social media and, you know, it becomes very apparent that everybody's making plans and everybody's doing things all the time again and everyone's so happy to see loads of people again, it's kind of made me realise a little bit that like I wish I had more like besties if that makes any sense like I wish I had more really close friends that were in London but I've been thinking recently like how how does one make friends at the ripe age of 30 um I and it feels like the big kind of next opportunity to make really good friends that a lot of women do is that when you have a baby you make kind of antenatal besties but i'm probably not gonna have a baby just for the sake of making some friends so what are my other options i wish i had more best friends <laughs> is that sad i don't know i feel like it's kind of highlighting the gaps in my if i if i lived in the 80s and had like an address book and a phone number book <laughs> It would really be highlighting the gaps in that. So I'm interested to know how people make good new friends. How do you do it? If you are feeling a little lonely right now because it's kind of throwing into relief the fact that maybe you don't have that gang of besties that a lot of people on the internet really seem to, to kind of spontaneously do picnics and all that kind of stuff. I never really got that at uni because I was too shy and too depressed. <laughs> and I feel like that's quite the fundamental time to get it. It's a shame that we can't all hang out together. There's so many of you that I feel like I'd get on famously with. <laughs> and you all live all across the world. Look at this cake mix, by the way. Pure perfection, let me bathe in it. I'm gonna do um, a double cleanse because um, I never trust that SPF comes off with just one cleanse. I feel like that must really cling to your skin. Um, 
Seeing as I haven't been wearing makeup, I probably normally wouldn't bother. But I went out, so I put sun cream on my face. And I just never trust that it's fully come off my skin unless I wash it twice. So this is a cleanser that I was chatting on about earlier. Um, it's from Look Fantastic, but it's by Antipodes. And it's the Grace Gentle Clean Cleanser. Gentle Clean? Nope. Gentle Clean. <laughs> Am I broken? <laughs> Gentle Cream Cleanser. And it smells so delicious. It smells exactly like the cinnamon butter that we bought home from Bath, <laughs> which is very confusing for my taste buds. At the moment, to be honest, this is like the only room of the house that I'm actually happy with. <laughs> I feel like every other room needs some serious attention, mainly because it's so messy from me doing the stairs. Like, I just feel like now that we've been in this house for quite a long time, each room has kind of changed like what we need from it and how I want it all laid out and what works best for us and like what we found doesn't work and stuff. I feel like we've been in here long enough now to understand what each room kind of needs to be. And basically every single room is wrong. <laughs> so once the stairs are done, then it's the kitchen. We desperately need to sort the kitchen out. My current thought with it is that I would really, really like to turn the back wall into like a big like bifold door, kind of like big open glass door kind of thing. But that's gonna be such a massive job and I'm not sure it's really worth us spending that money on this house. I, I love the idea of having like the glass doors and then like a little kind of breakfast bar kind of thing, but I just don't know if we've got the room for that. I think maybe I'm being a bit unrealistic there and maybe that needs to be saved for the next house down the line. I need to try and take my own advice. Like when I did that video about mistakes that we made buying our house and how you have to design for the house you actually live in and not your dream house. I'll settle for some lovely open shelves and a kitchen that fits the fridge in. <laughs> I'm not asking for too much. That'll do me this time around. Cool, skin feels cleansed. Feels really nice actually. Sometimes I use cleansers and it just feels like my whole skin has just been like, like sucked up and into a Ghostbusters hoover. It's literally like lost everything out of it. Um, but that cleanser doesn't do that to me. It doesn't feel my skin leaving like stripped. It feels nice. Oh, I forgot to show you cake progress. It's out of the oven. It looks golden, deliciously delightful. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with it so far. I might ice it tonight or I might I <laughs> I might ice it tonight or I might ice it tomorrow. That sounds like a speech practice. How now, brown cow? I don't mean to blow my own trumpet here. <laughs> But this looks freaking delicious. This might be the most successful YouTube bake of our generation. The rain in Spain stays mainly on the plain. That really reminds me of, I think it's My Fair Lady, which was a film that I loved when I was little. Isn't it strange, like, thinking of the films that you absolutely loved? Mine were always really, like, obscure things that my granddad had taped off the telly and, like, had on VHS. <laughs> seven Brides for Seven Brothers is the prime example of that. I watch it now and I'm like, this is a questionable storyline, but it does explain where my love for ginger men originated from. <laughs> yeah, My Fair Lady was one of those films that I loved when I was little um, and watched over and over and over. And <laughs> there's a funny story with it because once, we must have been really, really young. My friend Hannah came over and we watched it together. <laughs> there's a line in the movie where they go horse racing and Eliza shouts, move your blooming ass. I think that's what she says. Which of course, when you're like eight years old is the most hilarious thing. And Hannah went home after that and said it, I think to her mum and got in trouble. And <laughs> it was all my fault. Uh, let's put a face mask on. So I'm gonna use the Antipodes one. This, this packaging, good grief, it's beautiful. Um, I mentioned this earlier, but I've been really, really liking it. It just really kind of soothes my skin and calms it down. It's the Aura Manuka Honey Mask. And I'm gonna go and chill out in front of the telly, but you know what? I actually don't know what I'm gonna watch because I finished my most recent watch which I've been discussing on Instagram. I've, I've re-watched Pretty Little Liars. If you've never seen it before, you should totally watch it, but with the disclaimer that it's, I mean, it's kind of the worst TV show that's ever been made, but also it's incredibly good and really, really fun and enjoyable and hilarious. But there's some things that happen which will make you feel like, am I going insane? I don't know if you'll remember, ages ago now, I made a Gilmore Girls video with like my thoughts about having watched the whole of Gilmore Girls. Um, that was a little bit different because it was the first time I'd ever watched it and I loved it. Gilmore Girls is now like my favourite thing to ever exist. But Pretty Little Lies, I, I have a lot 
to say about it. Like, I, I kind of wish I'd made notes as I went through. Um, but I'm thinking about making a similar video about, like, my thoughts of Pretty Little Liars and how insane it is. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I hope it's been nice. Hope I've kept you company, chatting away in the background while you're probably doing other things. Did you achieve what you wanted to achieve? Or are you procrastinating? I bet you're procrastinating. <laughs> Don't forget about the Look Fantastic discount code as well. If you fancy treating yourself to a few new things, new makeup, new skincare, a little bit of a pamper sesh, make use of the discount code. So I'm gonna leave the details that you need in the description box down below, along with the link to Look Fantastic. Take the best possible care of yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Read good books. <laughs> what other advice do I have? <laughs> See you guys very soon. Mwah.